disappointed, restless, and not quite sure if this is fair to their hockey players. Sending them out with the booing sound. A four-game sweep by the Boston Bruins. Zach, what did you feel about the fans getting on carry? Did you see? Did you see something to uh, to carry? Zach, do you get the sense the fans turned on you guys tonight? What do you want me to say? Scrape off the logo. Last one to leave the Bell Center. Turn out the lights. The party's over. We wanted to experience something completely different from Montreal and, and California kind of sounded that's a perfect spot for us. The face of a franchise is now a face in the crowd. Saku Koivu has gone from C to C. Four years ago, the man in the forefront of the maelstrom in Montreal left as a free agent to join AA. That's Anaheim Anonymous. He could hardly be more at peace. When you leave the rink here, you can take the kids and the family to the beach. Uh, you can enjoy your day off and, and you do a grocery store uh, shopping. Uh, everybody's not asking what went wrong the night before, uh, why you didn't score, type of thing. But, um, you know, the time in Montreal was, uh, was phenomenal. Um, uh, I think I learned a lot, a lot of things um, as, as a player, but more as a person. Uh, being a captain and, and, and facing that pressure pretty much every day but uh, but at this point of my life and my career I find that uh, this setup fits us perfectly. However the transition from the guy to a guy was more challenging than expected. With the Canadians he had been the leader on the ice and the lightning rod for criticism off it. With the Ducks, he was expected to be little more than a productive center. You know, that, that period just... It, it was tough to know what to expect. Spending almost 15 years in Montreal was long enough time to uh, feel that that was our home. Anaheim is three time zones away from the only NHL life Koivu had known but it offered the chance to reunite with Temu Solani, a friend from the Finnish national team since the mid-1990s. When I met Saku first time, that was like 95, 96. Since that, we have always talking about that it would be nice to play together. And obviously he tried to say, like, come to Montreal. I said, I was joking, it's too cold. And when, when I heard that Saku signed here, I was so happy. But having uh, Tim here um, made it like, this is the spot where we want to come. And they helped us tremendously in the first year, especially uh, on and off the ice. I think he has really enjoyed this place. And uh, especially this year, the way how he has played, it has been fun to watch. Solani to the front, Koivu, he scores! I'm having more fun. Uh, I think I'm a lot easier person to live with, which is easier for my wife and the kids than I was before. The Ducks are a threat to win their second Stanley Cup. The cup, of course, represents a significant blank space on Koivu's resume. If Anaheim does emerge from the West, the 38-year-old Koivu hopes to see some familiar faces. Is this California dreaming? They're doing it very well this year, so I guess there's a, a dream out there that uh, hope it's going to happen, that we would face them in the, in the finals, and, and that would be something that, uh, you know, I'm hoping well for them because I know that that city can be uh, a great place to play uh, for a player when things are going well and, and uh, uh, would be a, a pretty special atmosphere to, to face them in the finals.